Yeah? Uh, now, ideal world, he doesn't do anything, he just lays there. I can roll back, connect my feet, get my head to the middle, crunch. But uh, that's easier said than done. People sometimes um, they uh, use their arms to keep my hips away, for example. So when I roll up, you do even with a free hand. I can't get there. So, now what? Um, we're going to kind of base our attacks on what, he, what, what he's going to do. So he slightly turns to that way, his uh, left. Then, okay, wait, yeah, so if he walks all the way up, we're just here. And we go again, yeah? Um, I'm going to follow him a little bit. So if he turns that way, I'm going to follow him, stop, free. And from here, I'm going to get this arm in deeper. So the, the, the choke arm, the, 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 the choke arm. And I'm going to punch this arm down, grab my tricep, and then bring this over as high as you can. So now we end up in an anaconda choke. So from here, I'm going to pull my elbow back so the, arm, the, the elbow of the choking arm is pulling back. And even though it cannot travel that far back because it's kind of stuck on the, on the mat, if you do this, you will notice a big difference in your, your strength. I'm going to pull it back. Squeeze everything in, and there, there he goes. Uh, what you also see with the uh, anaconda is that people, they just grip and then they start walking, and then you, the other guy starts walking. Uh, well, yeah. and it just kind of ends up in this kind of thing. Which is, I mean, the, the movement is great, but if you forget that you pull this right elbow back, then you're gonna be walking a lot of miles, yeah? So, pull it back, and then walking. And then he's out. So it's kind of the same thing as with the, the, the arm, uh, arm and guillotine, is that we put something in front of his, his throat, we lock everything up, bring it up high, nice and high, bring my elbows back home here, and then um, my chest is pushing his head uh, over or around my forearm. Yeah, so before it was my armpit pushing his head down, now it's my chest, you see his head is on my chest, that's kind of folding his, his neck around my forearm. So, one more time. Boom. Did you get it? Here. Bring my elbow down so this arm comes across here. Lock it up. Make sure this is nice and deep. Bring your elbow back. Walk in and see. Yeah? Ideally, you want you, you get to mount or a half guard kind of thing so you cannot run away even anymore. But if you do this correctly, you will step there. I'm going to add one more thing because we're assuming that this arm is going to stay here. Uh, and he's most likely going to want to pull this back. Yeah, so now, now what? You know? Now I can lock it in. Pull it as hard as you can. Bring your hips up, your legs over. And now you pull it away with your, your legs up. This makes it easier for this arm to travel through. And then you can go here, same thing. Yeah, so if this elbow is there, pull it as hard as you can. Get over the elbow. Yeah? yeah? Got that? Yes. Let's go. One, two, three.